Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build an algorithm that will trade the technical ranks intraday using the Trader API. I have ran an optimization using the three-day look-back period for all the Q's constituents, which I have a script on that you can check out in the technical rank playlist. So the best combination I found was if we trade bar number 10, which is the 1145 bar using 15-minute candles. It wants us to hold for three bars, so we're going to exit at the end of the 1230 bar, and it wants us to open positions on the first two highest ranking by technical rank. So I've scheduled this script just to test and I'll show you the outputs that are generated. So for August 15, it created this output. So it starts off by getting the intraday data up to the 1145 bar for all Q's constituents. So that's what you're seeing here. After it ranks, it tells us which two stocks to trade, which for this day was LRCX and MU. Now the script will check the balances on your accounts and the script will open up a position for one share so long as the money in the account is higher than the stock price at the time of the run. So just remember these two stocks as I'll show you my order status for the real account. And then the script will pause until we have to close our positions. I'm in Pacific time, so for me, I should close these at 9.45. Now from this point forward, it's gonna count the minutes remaining until we have to close our positions. So I'll go ahead and scroll down. And at the very end, it's going to send market orders to close our positions. And at the very end, you should see this message saying that it's done with the script. So let's check out Friday's output. So again, it's going to get all the Q's constituents up to the 1145 bar. And here, after it ranked, it told us we should trade these two stocks for Friday. So remember these two stocks. And then we're going to pause until we have to close our positions at the 1245 bar. And we see that it ran successfully without any errors. So let's check my account for the actual orders. So for A15, I was only able to trade MU. So here we see that we opened up at 11.47. Since it takes about two minutes to get all the data and create the technical ranks, we start around 11.47 for the opening positions. And since we're sending market orders at 12.45, there's no delay for the closing positions. So we see 12.45 for each. For this algo, I'm only trading one share and I'm using market orders for each. Now, if you remember for A15, we should have traded LRCX, but I didn't have enough money in this account. Now, since the merger, I have an additional account at this brokerage. So in the script, you'll see that we can route orders to both accounts. But if you only have one account or only want to trade this on one account, you will have to omit that piece or portion in the script. So let's go over that now. So here in our studio, we're going to start off by setting our working directory. We're going to load up all the required packages. We're going to source our trader API functions. We're going to set the current date. And from lines 10 through 12, you're going to want to set these numbers according to the optimization that you ran. So please don't copy these. I'm just testing out the results. And these numbers will change in the future as I add or remove things from the optimization. Now, since this script is scheduled from Monday through Friday, I want to make sure that the current day is is a trading day and not a holiday. So that's what line 14 is doing. Otherwise, it'll just skip over the code and print out that it's not a business day and it'll end the script. Otherwise, we're going to get the Q's constituents, assign these into tickers. For the following two functions, you can get these from my previous scripts on this playlist. But essentially, these two functions are used to rank the stocks. And now from lines 160 through 165, we're going to create a sequence of timestamps for the current day from the market open to the market close in 15 minute intervals. Now, in case your optimization results change, we still want to keep all timestamps just so that we know when to open and when to close our positions. Now, if your optimization results require you to hold this position, Position for an additional day. You're going to want to adjust your two date in line 160, but for now it's fine if we just trade the same day. Now in line 168, I need to adjust the timestamp to my local time, and this will be used to set my timer of when we should close our position. Now, if you notice, since these bars are indexed at the start, we're going to add the number of closing bars we should hold plus one because we want to close our positions at the end of that bar and not the start. So again, we're going to gather all of our data up to the trade bar. We're going to create a new environment to store all of our intraday data in. We're going to generate the tech scores. We're going to rank and only subset the first two or the number of stocks that you pass in at the start of the script. It'll create a printout, which you saw in the console. And then we're going to begin to trade our positions. But first, we need to get our account balances. Now for the Trader API, I have saved my accounts in a binary file, which have my account number and my hash value to avoid making multiple requests. Now for each of my accounts, I want to add the balance or the amount I'm able to trade. So here I'm just matching the account number 
numbers from my account balance table and we're going to add that column into accounts and we're going to remove any accounts of which I have a zero balance. I'm going to source my trader API functions and here are the blocks to send the orders. Now for each of these blocks, I'm checking whether or not I'm able to trade both stocks. If I am, I'm going to pass both symbols in into this L apply. I'm going to use my place a single order function for my first account and pass in the symbol that we want to trade. And again, these are market orders and we're going to use one share. Otherwise, I'm going to check whether or not I'm able to trade at least one of them if I don't have money to trade both. So in line 210, I'm just checking which stock I can trade out of the two. And we're going to send that order for our first account. And for the next block, we do the same, except we want to send for the second account. So if you only want to trade one account, just remove this block. Now, after we send our market orders, I'm going to set a pause for five seconds and I'm going to get my order history for both accounts in case there was some sort of error where I wasn't able to get filled. But otherwise, you should see these posted. And since these are market orders, they will most likely fill right away. So I'm going to combine my order history for both of the accounts, combine all the order IDs for both accounts. And I'm going to use my order history to match up the orders. And this is done just in case you have a different strategy. We only want to focus on closing the ones that we sent or the ones that we got order IDs for. So that's all that this blog is doing is matching up the order IDs we got from posting the trades on this algo. Next, we're going to pause until we have to close our positions. So I have built a function in line 249 where we pass in the time to close and it'll go ahead and generate this output for the amount of time remaining. So all you need to do is pass in the time to close. And once again, we need to source our trader API functions after our pause. And finally, just send our closing positions for each of the accounts. So all that's changed is the account number for my first and second account and making sure we close the correct position for each. And after that sent, we'll see line 293 in the output as we saw from our printouts. Well, with that, guys, this concludes the video. I hope this was useful information. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.